Welcome to the official personality guru. ENFPs are often known as romantic and flirtatious people. However, there is a lot more to what they expect as well as provide in commitments. ENFPs enjoy vital interior morals and worth and these are commonly linked to what they desire and would like from a connection. ENFPs can be complex and fascinated individuals that see checking out various things in a connection. For love and love though, the two are interested in special someone and everything is in family important to your ENFP. ENFPs tend to be well known that they are flirts, and this isn't completely untrue. They are outward bound to those that have natural charms, with them making it simple for those to relate to other individuals. The ENFP might end up being quite playful in regards to flirting, and commonly understand the suitable terms to tell you to suck someone in. They frequently have got normal ways with wonderful anyone, especially when they are a lot more comfortable growing freely around them. Simply great with depths along with their inner enchanting produces ENFPs exceptionally competent at producing a flirtatious appeal anytime necessary. Whenever the ENFP likes someone, they usually are more arranged in their flirtatious habits. They can grow to be concerned and unsure how to make that first action. Despite the reality, they are generally considered a more forward group. This just isn't completely precise around the ENFP because they are intricate people who save several levels. Once they sincerely like anyone, they may come to be nervous about flirting and choose to light up way too tough. They can act even more slight. In addition to the most flirtatious activities, we'll be making a chance to talk with this individual and striving the most beautiful to be with these people commonly. After they find the correct evidence from somebody, though the ENFP can perform taking this flirty half right back, since they possess times when they may think that their unique flirting is originating down awkward, it rarely seems that solution to those around them. The ENFPs do not constantly witness themselves quite effectively and can also feel harder on themselves than anybody else is actually. Today, let's talk about ENFP flirting and dating and how to attract an ENFP. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the official personality guru and ring the bell icon to get regular updates on our latest uploads. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. ENFP flirting. ENFPs are notorious for being flirts, which isn't entirely untrue. They are outgoing people who have a natural charm to them, which makes it easy for them to connect with others. The ENFP can be rather playful when it comes to flirting and they often know the right words to say to draw someone in. They often have a natural way of charming people, especially when they are more relaxed around them. They are good with words and their inner romantic makes ENFPs highly capable of creating a flirtatious allure when need be. When the ENFP likes someone, they can be a little bit more reserved with their flirtatious tendencies. They can become nervous and unsure how to make that first move, even though they are often viewed as more forward people. This just isn't completely accurate to the ENFP since they are complex people with many layers. When they sincerely like someone, they might become nervous about flirting and don't want to come on too strong. They might try to be more subtle, and the most flirtatious behavior would be making time to chat with this person and trying their best to be around them often. Once they get the right sign from someone, though the ENFP is capable of bringing this flirty side back, while they do have times when they might feel like their flirting is coming out awkward, it rarely seems that way to those around them. The ENFPs don't always see themselves quite accurately and can be harder on themselves than anyone else. In a relationship when it comes to relationships, the NFP values their connection deeply and wants something that can make them feel a sense of comfort. While most people see ENFPs are flighty people who cannot remain loyal, this could not be further from the truth. When they describe the NFP this way, they are thinking about the unhealthy versions of the type. 
INFPs are highly moral people, and when they are in a committed relationship, they would not want to do anything to betray their partner. They are very much capable of being loyal once they find someone they trust and love. ENFPs just might struggle to settle down when they are younger, not completely sure what they are searching for or what they need from a partner. Once they discover this about themselves, they become highly capable of remaining loyal and true to the one they love. NFPs are affectionate people who enjoy being close to someone when they are in a relationship. They do sometimes need a lot of attention from this person. Or, at the very least, they need to know that this person truly cares and wants to be with them. If they are physically apart, the NFP might want to text them often or hear from them just to feel that closeness. They are often capable of expressing this in ways that don't seem needy. But in truth, ENFPs just value their romantic connections and want to draw close to them. They will also be constantly there for the person they love and won't turn their back on them through the hardest of times. ENFPs want to be someone who can listen to their partner, but they need this in return. For them, it is important to have someone who will hear them out when they are upset and just be there to show that they care without constantly trying to fix them or their problems. ENFPs take romantic relationships seriously and just want a partner who is willing to stand by their side and be there for them. ENFPs do need attention and affection from their partner, but not much else. They are much more independent than people realize when it comes to attending to their own needs. They just want someone willing to show they care and accept them for who they are, without wanting to change or fix them in any way. ENFPs can often fall in love hard and fast, once they find someone who can spark their soul uniquely and passionately. How about you? As any personality type or as an ENFP, how do you flirt, how do you date, and how are you attracted to other people? Be sure to watch until the end and share your experience to have a chance to have your comment pinned. Casual Dating ENFPs might participate in casual dating when they are younger since they do sometimes get stuck into doing what others expect from them. They are also curious people who might take a while to figure out what they truly want from a relationship. When they are going through a phase of wanting to uncover more information about themselves and what they want, then they may turn to more casual dating. This is more about experiencing something new and learning about themselves and those around them. Casual dating won't be the absolute worst thing for the NFP, since they are social and friendly people. They don't mind getting to know new people and learning more about the qualities they find attractive or not so attractive in a partner. For the NFP, casual dating is often an experience they need during their younger years, but as they get older, it loses its luster. Once the NFP knows what they truly want from a romantic relationship, they don't want to waste time. They don't want to partake in shallow small talk. Instead, they want to get right to the heart of the conversations. The NFPs become more drawn to in-depth talks and getting to know someone on a truly deep level. They might seem to move a bit fast because of this, not wanting to waste time or energy on someone they don't feel truly connected to. Before we continue, if you enjoy the video, make sure to give us a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the official personality guru for more amazing videos. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay updated with our content. What they are attracted to One of the absolute most attractive qualities of the ENFP is completely authentic and sincerity. Someone who does not put on some sort of act or pretend to be something they are not. ENFPs can be instantly put off by a person who seems to create walls and put on some sort of show. They want to learn about what goes on underneath a person, and they want to see into their soul, not just the image they portray. Someone who is completely unabashedly authentic with the NFP is certainly going to be attractive to them. ENFPs are drawn to people who are passionate and who can express this passion without fear or doubt. This sense of confidence is something that instantly appeals to the ENFP and often leaves them wanting more. 
They want to be around people who excite and inspire them, not those who are so locked up inside that they cannot be reachable. While ENFPs do sometimes find themselves attracted to a challenge, they need to at least see sparks of intelligence, passion, and intensity for them to be truly attracted to someone. They are most attracted to people who are understanding and who can see beneath their barriers. Someone who sees the NFP for who they are and is accepting and loving of their flaws, not just their bright and positive qualities. The NFPs can be afraid of their darker qualities and might have harsh doubts about themselves. When they find someone who sees through this and still wants to be with them, then the NFP won't want to let this go.